good morning and welcome to winter pig now I don't know if you can read it from way back there but it's uh, tw it's warmed up to 27.8 degrees Celsius minus 27.8 <laughs> Yeah, it was cold. I think it went down to minus 31 last night. Now, if I remember, we did have a little bit of a sunrise. Maybe I'll try and dub it in. And uh, for uh, Tennessee Jim, maybe I'll... You were mentioning you, you can't see out, out, the, out the windows anymore. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we'll get rid of that spray booth eventually. Uh, but anyway, I'll just sort of dub in what I'm seeing out the front right now. It's it's kind of nice out there. The sun is shining out, glinting off the snow, and it looks kind of nice. I'll, I'll dub it in across the top, if if I remember to do it after. I, all these little things I do after the fact, they, they don't happen right now as I'm speaking. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you got that figured out. Anyway, today we got a do something about the boot line because I, I want to get the boot line uh, on first and I think we did both both the both the Iowa or both the uh, hood and the Rodney I believe where we we did the masking tape thing with with the boot line in other words we painted it painted a black stripe along here and then we put the masking tape over top of it and then we, when we peeled the masking tape off then we had a nice we had a nice boot line. Now I think I'm going to go with the 10 millimeter. Uh, I, I I think that's what I'm going to go with. Now it it uh, it could be that it's not going to look too good, but on the other hand, I, uh, six millimeters is a little bit too too narrow, and 10 millimeter is a tiny bit too wide. But uh, anyway, we'll. We'll give it a try, and uh, now we we do have sort of a rollback, but it's not not really a rollback, but it is in that it happened yesterday. And I went on the computer yesterday, and, and one of the viewers had had mentioned uh, if I was to look at page, I think he's I forget what he said now, two hundred and six or something like that. Anyway, uh, um, I, I did look, and then I later r read another comment. I, I believe he revised his comment, maybe, and and there's other places that we can look in the book to see the boot line, and we, we will check that out later. But uh, uh, let's just let's just roll back, and then I'll get my thoughts together, and we'll get recomposed and uh, talk about how we're going to draw the boot line on here and. Uh, I, I was noticing in, in one of the drawings that, you, that you're going to see, it, it looked like I could almost see portholes about in the. I don't know if this was them or not, but there there are no portholes visible that I can see uh, on the front here. Just these ones here on the side, and there's there's just the one there's just the one deck. Oh, anyway, let's roll back. Now, one of the viewers uh, was mentioning that he thought that around page 106 or 107 in the book, it talked about the uh, boot top. Um, okay, now, I think because I have the Kindle version, it might not be the same as the hardcover version when it comes to uh, page numbering. Now, I thought I thought they'd be the same, but apparently not, because when I go to page 106, uh, so let me go to it here. Uh, four, five, six. Okay, here's. We're now we're, we've jumped to 108. Okay, it it doesn't really. Uh, unless unless the. Uh, Kindle version mi misses some stuff. Uh, I, it, it shouldn't. Okay. Anyway, let's let's just back up where we were here. Okay. So here's here's our uh, here's our uh, boot our boot line our boot top, and I was talking uh, about how when it tucks underneath the bow here, it really widens out. 
Now, because of the perspective, we can't actually see how much it widens out, but it actually widens out, I'm guessing, to maybe three times its width. But uh, there is another photo here, or drawing, this one. Here you, here you can see it. It's not real, real clear, but you can see here how it, it tucks underneath. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, you know, uh, replicate that. Um, maybe, maybe if we have the ship upside down, yeah, that might be a good idea. We'll have to the, put the hull upside down, and then it might be easier to draw. Uh, and and also we're going to have to find reference of where where does the where's the top and where is the bottom. Now here at the bow, it's it's quite easy to to see that. Uh, at the stern, it might be a little harder, but there's there's nothing really uh, to define it. You just have to sort of eyeball it, I guess, and 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 see where it, where it's going to go here um now here here we've got a cross section but i don't see unless unless this is supposed to be the the uh, the boot line uh boot top i i'm not sure it's 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 uh it, it is it is you know horizontal the way the boot top would be so uh, it, it looks like that the top of the of the boot line, <laughs> boot top, this this line right here that I'm just touching right now, uh, it looks like it's down about a third of the way from the top from the gunnel. Um, yeah, uh, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay, those of you who have been with me for since the beginning of this series in fact way back almost at the beginning and it was in episode number 52 you will have seen me do this Now the plan is to do the same sort of thing again here. Uh, I think I did the I, I did the uh, the uh, Rodney and the Hood uh, the same way, and uh, this is this is nothing new. Uh, uh, other people have done this too. I, I'm doing I'm going to do it upside down though this time because I was thinking that possibly it would be. Yet on the other hand. Uh, maybe what I should do is when when I get to the stern here uh, see this would have to come up because it was yeah it's it's more more about there as best I can remember <clears throat> you know, I will measure carefully before I actually start drawing and uh, I'm, I'm thinking though that maybe what I'll do is I'll just take my tape and I'll, I'll run it along and I won't worry about it coming back up over over the you know in, in, into the stern area. Um, I'll, I'll just do the top of the of the uh, of the water line first, and uh, and then we'll worry about uh, you know flaring it out on the on the on the stern here. Uh, in which case, it would be more accurate if I have the ship right side up, because the the this part of the of the hull, the bottom of the hull, is is perfectly flat as far as I know. I don't think that I don't think that the stern set much deeper or shallower in in the water than the bow. I think that the I think it was the same. So uh, yeah, this that's what we'll do here. We'll uh, we'll just turn everything over very carefully, and uh, maybe I should. Uh, I should press stop here, and uh, let's, let's let move this up a little bit. Okay, if I was to be coming along, yeah, that, that looks like it's about right, and then and then it would get, yeah, maybe it should be just a little bit higher. Okay, anyway, you get the idea. Okay, here we are in the Kindle version of Stefan's book. 
And uh, let's just go, go over here and see uh, what our friend has said here. Page 316, 318, and 320. Well, let's, let's just go to that and see what we got here. Page location. Okay, so we're going to go 316. All right, when we go to page 316, you can see it down, he down here. Uh, page 316 of 838. It, it's not matching up at all. Let's just go down to 317. Okay, so there's 318. Um, let's keep going here. 318 again, 319. No, they're, they're, not, they're not matching up, unfortunately. Uh, however, I do believe, uh, and, and here's another thing, uh, it's, he mentions that it's uh, all in, or some of the drawings are in 1-200 scale, which is great, except that when you're looking at it on the computer, it's not going to be 1-200, to 200. it's going to be whatever particular size you may have, you know, en enlarged everything to here. Uh, yeah, if you know what I'm talking about. So, uh, anyway... We'll we'll figure it out here. I'm going to use the 10 millimeter tape, and uh, I'm just sort of going to sort of eyeball it. Uh, let, let's go back to that drawing that we had that was around. Uh, what, what was it? Uh, page 106 was it? Let's just go back to that. Okay. Um. Okay, this is the one. All right. Um, yeah, you, you'll see right here, it looks like there are portholes. Uh, but I couldn't find those on the... Now, maybe they do show up on the stern. Because this is, this is... We're looking at it from the, from the, from the back. So we'll, we'll check that out and see if we can find a line of portholes. And it looks like the top of the boot line was just above that. If that makes any sense. Uh, or maybe we'll just we'll just go by the uh, yeah I think maybe we'll just go by the the paint and marking guide. Uh, it'd be nice if I could make up my mind, wouldn't it? Okay, l let's let's get out of this. We we tried. And uh, to that viewer, thanks very much. Oh, by the way, I I did watch that uh, 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 link here, and it's it's very similar to what I did four years ago. Uh, good idea though. Good idea. Okay, there's not too much tape left here, but I do believe there's enough to go all the way around, at least once. And, uh, oh, probably about five, six minutes ago, I was sitting here and I was getting everything adjusted to shoot this scene. And I'm looking out the window and uh, I see an Amazon truck come up. Well, I guess you know what came, right? Hello. Hello. Thank you. You're Yeah, we'll have to take a look at that yet. Now, before before we can uh, put our black on, I can either put either the uh, the NATO black or the flat black. I'll probably just use the flat black, uh, thin it down a little more maybe. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Iwata to to just put the black on, and. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, I don't think we need the... Uh, well, I suppose we could try the other one. I don't know. don't really have a whole lot of time left this afternoon. It, you know, time sort of got away on me. Once again, I was doing other things. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, in, the, in the meantime, why don't we uh, take a look at uh, what Amazon delivered. Okay, let's see if we can manage to tear it at the perforation here. Sometimes this works. Sometimes it doesn't. Oh, here we go. All right. What have we got here? Pache H series.
Okay, well, it looks like uh, looks like the hanger's missing. It's supposed to be a hanger, unless it came loose and, and it's somewhere here in the box. Uh, that's possible too. No, I don't see it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was supposed to come with a little hanger that you would screw into the side of whatever. And well, I don't know if I would have used it anyway, but. Uh, <laughs> All right, it, lo it, lo it looks like everything else is here, though. Um, oh, here it is. Here it is. Yeah, I guess they, for whatever reason, they, they didn't put it in there. Okay, well, it looks like everything is here. Uh, so let me get the components out, and we'll lay them out, and uh, have, a, have a quick look before we wind this episode up, because... I don't want to be trying to use it uh, right now. It would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? We've got the, the boot line to, to paint black first before we can put our tape on. And I, like I mentioned, I'm probably going to want to use the Iwata for that. Um, yeah, I got a feeling that, that this airbrush is probably going to be uh, what you might call uh, misty because of the design. But we'll, we'll look at that in a minute here. Okay, so now in order to use my existing hose here with the with the uh, quick connect, I'm going to have to probably get another one of these, or uh, is this going to is this going to fit here? No, that's. Okay, that's probably what this uh, adapter in this bag is for. And I notice there's a little, a little O-ring in there. So uh, I, I found a little case here from something else. And I think what we'll do is we'll keep this O-ring in here so that it doesn't accidentally get lost. Okay, let's uh, recompose here a bit. Okay, um, yeah, I have to go on Amazon and see if I can get another one of these. Either that or I guess if it's ridiculously overpriced, I'll probably just end up, you know, changing it. It's, it's It was finger tight before and it was working, so. Now these extra nozzles, I think what is on the, on the, on the airbrush right now is the medium. And I'm just going to leave it on there. And this one here, I guess, would be for uh, spraying large, and this one would be for spraying fine. I don't know why there's an extra, an extra, I don't know what you'd call this part here, but it obviously goes on the end here. I don't know if it's the exact same one as that's on here, and it's just a replacement, or... No, it's not. You, you can see that it's, it's different. It's got... Uh, I'm wondering if it was maybe to, to match... Well, it doesn't matter. We'll figure it out. I'm probably not going to use it anyway. This uh, Allen wrench here is to fit in here to, to release this. I'm sure that most of you already know. In fact, some of you already have this airbrush. Now, <clears throat> what I have concluded a few minutes ago was that in all likelihood, I will most likely be using this, this uh, cup here to, to do my painting. And the reason being is because it looks to me like you get most of the paint from the bottom. That is something I can see right now that you're not going to be able to use as much of your paint in the cup as you can with the Iwata. Because the Iwata, it actually feeds out of the bottom. Whereas this, it has to sort of suck it up. We would get most of it, but uh, this, this thing here, I likely will not be using it. Um, uh, well, maybe I, maybe I will, uh, but I, it, I, I don't think so. I think in all likelihood, I'll, I'll be using this. It doesn't have any kind of a cap on it, so a person's going to have to be careful. And I was thinking afterwards, maybe I will mount this somewhere on the side of the spray booth 
because uh, it might be handy to be able to hand, hang this up. In fact, no might about it, it would be handy to be able to hang this up. So, Okay, um, we're not going to be doing any more on this uh, today, folks. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow.